Good morning, everybody. I should have started filming before I left the house because I've just got rained on. Um, but we are heading to um, the Birmingham Aquarium. We're going to the Sea Life Centre in Birmingham for the day. Jamie, me and Archie. Um, Archie's wearing the cutest outfit ever, so I'm going to show you. Um, I need to get him out of his car seat. We're just putting some charge in the Tesla. The drive up to the aquarium took us just over an hour, which was perfect as that was the amount of time that Archie really wanted to be in his car seat for. We walked up to the aquarium and we noticed that there was a couple of schools there and we realised that we might be finding that it would be a little bit busy, but it wasn't actually too bad inside. It was really, really quick to get through the reception area. They just scan your tickets and they let you through. As soon as you walk round, everyone kind of stands still in a stationary position It's because the toilets are right at the front. Don't go to the toilet there if you can. There's toilets halfway through which you can use. We then headed to the penguins which Archie absolutely adored. He was mesmerized by them, especially when they swam past him and got so close. The only thing I would say is that people do tend to forget their manners and potentially not realize what's going on around them. So you do have to kind of hold your own space. This is what I'm doing here with Archie, making sure that he has his own space to make sure that he can see the animals safely without being squashed. Jay was a little bit obsessed with this penguin in the background. He was quite cute to be fair, but Archie was absolutely mesmerized. Look at his little face, so shocked, so in awe of everything and we hadn't even got started. There was this massive tube and it was older than I am. Jay couldn't get his head around it. It was just younger than him, but older than me and it was still going with all the animals in it. And all the fishies now big fishes didn't seem to be archie's favorite it was the little fish and the colorful fish which to be fair i kind of get the understanding for but watching the fish swim past was so relaxing so sensory and it was lovely it was very warm in there so i would make sure that you address very thin layers and that your baby doesn't have too many layers on these little fishes that were sticks they were really cool i was mesmerized by those for a while we tried to get Archie's attention at some point to look at some of the fish that we were looking at, but he was literally focused on his own thing, which was the lights, the water, the colorful rocks, the algae, the coral and the fish. We kept pointing out the fish that were in Nemo so that when we show him Nemo when he's a little bit older, we can be like, look, this is what you saw when you went to the aquarium. I just can't get over his little face and how much he, he was mesmerized by it all. Look, it's Dory. Look at his little face. Absolutely loving it. Now, all the TikToks that I saw before we went were saying to take your baby when they're about four months old. Archie is three months old here and he is technically a month younger because he was born earlier. So I don't feel like there's a right or wrong time to take your baby to the aquarium. You judge it, you know best. We knew that Archie would absolutely adore it because we used to play fish on the TV and he would just watch them go past. So this was a good idea to take him. At this point, he was starting to feel a little bit sleepy and a little bit grouchy, so he wasn't that interested in the catfish, especially because you look down on them, so it's a little bit further away for you to look at. But there are lots of little benches and things that you can sit at on the way around and then you can watch them. That stingray was huge, but there's one even bigger coming up in the footage that I've got, and it blew my mind. It was humongous. Look at the jellyfish. No one else was really interested in the jellyfish. I absolutely loved them. Then we walked through the main event, which was the tunnel where you've got the shark swimming over you and around you. Look at the size of this shark. It is humongous. Archie was a little bit tired, but because it's so sensory, it does make them really relaxed and tired. But he absolutely loved the tunnel. This shark, I can't get over it. Look how long it is. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous humongous i kept saying to joe look at the size of it look at the size of it it's so big the sharks swimming around the tunnel though were amazing and swimming above your head it just blows my mind like sharks are scary animals but then when you watch them in real life they just look so majestic and peaceful when they're swimming very very crazy then there were lots of other fishes in there there was also a sea turtle in there which made me really happy and really excited and then on your way out you can get your photos but also there's a little viewing window which you can look at the penguins again which archie absolutely adored because the penguins were definitely one of his favorite things to watch alongside dory and the sharks he absolutely loved those i think it would go in that order why do you look so far away 
or anyway we're in the car on the way home we are at a tesla garage filling up oh what do you call it charging you don't say filling up do you mm. charging anyway what's your verdict on taking a three month old three weeks and four days basically four month old to the aquarium yeah it's good fun he liked it did you like it i did like it it was very sensory he got very tired didn't he mm. and he was very like sleepy but it's because it's dark in there yeah and it's got lights yeah which is what we let him sleep with anyway but he seemed to enjoy it he did what do you think was his favorite bit the tunnel bit at the end do you think yeah because he's inside it isn't he it's like feel like it's at night all them lights on the ceiling feel like it's the tunnel and then the penguins. He enjoyed the penguins, yeah, because the penguins are so close. He just couldn't... He just thought they were a black and white dog. Yeah, like, every time they got really close, he was, like, really confused by them and then just, like, stared and watched them swim past him. Yeah, he liked them. He liked those. And then the dory fish. Yeah, oh, yeah, he followed that. Really liked yeah. dory fish, didn't he? Would you do it again? Yeah. Would you wait until he's a bit older? No. To come back tomorrow, then? Probably not, I've got work. <laughs> I've got business to run. Where do you think we will go next? Um, probably on Humber Bay. Well, next, no, I think we were going to go out for Father's Day, didn't I? Oh, okay. Well, I don't know about that. Oh, dear. Oh, mate. oh. Is he good? Yep, yeah, all good. Um, well, I don't know then, do I? Because you're planning Father's Day, so. If I said, like, where would you guess? I don't know. Zoo? Farm? You'll have to see. Oh, okay. It's quite nice taking him out for day trips, though, isn't it? Yeah. We just it's going to be a little bit less nice in about 30 seconds if this car don't hurry up charging because he's about to kick off. Wait. Anyway, distracted. We are going to drive home and get on the road because he needs it. But would highly recommend, he's opened the door and left it open. Would highly recommend taking your child to the Sea Life Centre or the aquarium. It's really, really good.